Alright, right now I'm going to demonstrate the manual focus on this thing and why is it so versatile, versatile on this camera. And I'm going to look through this peephole right here. As you can see, this, uh, the things around the peephole is in focus, but the thing is not. So in the hole, try to look out. Out of focus can't really compensate for that. Oh, it can. But the thing is, it'll change back and forth and back and forth. So every time you move the camera back and such, it'll it'll do this, which kind of sucks. So what I can do is um, I can turn off the manual focus, like so. As you can see, it's uh, it can't really focus anymore. I had to focus it manually. And ooh, that's amazing. I can see the reflection on here with manual focus. And let's look at it again. Mind that sound is my that's my roommate's phone. And as you can see I can see it around the room. Just in the uh, room in the front. Just my annual focus. Yes. Well, I could see a lot of creative aspects using manual focus, like real filmmakers when uh, when they record movies and such. They can uh, they can always change the focus so that whatever they're doing, like this, you can always see the reflection and something you see second floor plan. So, all right, that's it for now. And you've been watching from the Oz. Let's turn the camera back on. Turn the autofocus to see it works. Actually, the autofocus on this thing is amazing. Look how it compensates uh, very, very quickly. But you should move the camera slowly, or otherwise, it'll be really blurry until it uh, autofocuses by itself. So, alright, this is Oz signing out.